Hi, welcome to the short video where we're just looking at creating a bent and a flat piece of sheet metal and placing the flat and the bent version into an assembly. How do you achieve that in Solid Edge? First thing to do is to create a small part. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll set a thickness. That starting off is uh, is fine and synchronous, but in order to uh, to do what we want, we will need to go into ordered because I need to be able to create a bend in this model. So we'll create a bend as a separate feature, and you can't do that in synchronous midpoint of that edge to the midpoint of the second edge, and we'll bend this piece up as well. Another reason why I turned off the base coordinate system is it's easier to see the arrows when you're putting the bend in. <clears throat> so now we have two features, our tab and our bend. What I need to do is tell Solid Edge that I can switch this bend on and off. This is where this suppression variable tool comes in. What that does is it adds in a value into the variable table. So here's the suppressed value. That value is 0 or 1. 0 is not suppressed, 1 is suppressed. What we'll also need to do is to check, the, we'll have to set this part so it's, uh, it's an adjustable part as well. And uh, the, the value that I'd like to change when I put this part into an assembly is that suppressed value. So selecting the suppression variable in the variable table adds it to this adjustable part dialog box. I can go ahead and save this part now. Bend and flat. Where you will save it. Um, let's go ahead and throw this into an assembly. So we'll create an assembly with our new part. I'm not interested in setting or changing this particular version. Uh, the first part we'll just put in as is. So we have got our insert bend and the value is naught. So we want to keep the original part. And um, let's just move that a little bit closer to the origin point. Again, the coordinate system I don't really need, but what we'll do is drag in another copy. Place this as adjustable again, that's fine, but the value this time is 1, in which case it suppresses the bend in that particular instance of the part. And then we can go ahead and add some assembly relationships. and the part is positioned. But then we have two components, it's the same component, one flattened version and one bent version. 